Shelf-stable foods are great to keep on hand for those days when you're running low on groceries and can't get to the store. And one of the most common of those goods you'll find in people's homes is canned tuna. It's packed with healthy protein and makes for a delicious, easy meal when you're in a pinch. Mm-hmm. Tuna melt. We see you. Hi there. Nice to see you. Bumblebee tuna? Bumblebee tuna! Well, it turns out that we all love tuna so much that in 2009, the National Fisheries Institute reported that 56% of Americans keep three or more pouches of tuna at home at any given time, and 25% admit they stash five or more. That's a lot of fish. If you're someone who likes to have a can or two, or three or five, in your kitchen, you've got to do it right. Here's exactly the way the pros store their Wild Planet, Star Kissed, and Chicken of the Sea. A lot of people eat tuna. It's like a lot of people eat chicken. So it's like the chicken of the sea. Okay, I understand that. I was, I read it wrong. First things first, you're gonna wanna keep the cans away from heat. So don't stock the cabinet above the stove or place your tuna in direct sunlight. Heat actually causes canned items to spoil much faster and could even make it unsafe to eat. So where should you store your goodies if you want to skip the food poisoning? Well, many outlets, including the Spruce Eats, recommend storing cans in a cool, dark cabinet, somewhere like a pantry or any cupboard that's clear of heat sources and has a closing door. And no, you don't need to worry about popping it in the fridge. They've done studies, you know, 60% of the time it works every time. The National Fisheries Institute says the best conditions for storing canned tuna is at room temperature. They also suggest stashing the cans on shelves, not like the floor, to prevent any leaks or possible rusting or spoiling. Also, there's less chance of them getting crushed or dented. It's also a smart idea to put older cans in the front, with newer cans behind them, so you eat the older tuna first. Just like your stocking shelves at the Piggly Wiggly. If you do all that, the USDA says that low-acid canned foods, just like tuna, can last for two to five years. That's a whole lot of tuna. Hey, tuna casserole. Yes. But literal spoiler alert, the rules for unopened cans do not apply to those that are already opened. Once you pop the top, that tuna's gotta live out its life in the fridge. According to Eat Right, if you transfer it to a plastic container, it'll be cool as a cucumber for one or two days. Some people claim that you shouldn't leave food in an open can because chemicals from the metal could leach into your food. But according to Epicurious, that's not the case. Reportedly, can corrosion takes years, and your tuna will be ancient history by then. But when it comes to switching out the can for a better container, Canned Food Alliance's Katie Toulouse told the outlet, it's more about maintaining the quality and taste like you would for any other food you prepare. I shall have a tuna salad sandwich, please. You got it. The USDA recommends an airtight container to help prevent bacteria growth and keep out any other fridge odors from seeping into your food. Or if you're at the office, it's probably the other way around on the tuna smell. Coming up against a full-grown 800-pound tuna with his 20 or 30 friends? You lose that battle. But while canned tuna might seem like it could survive the apocalypse, trust us, it definitely won't. And no matter how reputable your grocery store, your first step should be to check the expiration date. If you're still within the recommended eat-by zone, you may proceed. But don't forget to also check the outside of the can first. The National Fisheries Institute cautions that if a can looks like it's rusted, it's dented, or it's leaking, that could be a sign that the tuna inside has spoiled. Foods Guy noted that canned food lasts so long because it's pressure sealed. And if there's any damage to the can, your tuna has been compromised. Be assured, this day will come. It's just a matter of time. Could be one month, could be two months. Three months. Could be. Once you open the can, check for good color and aroma. Tuna that's still good should be light pink to brown. If it smells bad or has streaks of green, brown, or black, abandon ship. And get yourself a brand new can of tuna. How do you feel? The tune is perfect. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite foods are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.